so much has been said already about why you must invest in Nigeria now. And uh, there's no gain saying the fact that uh, the more you say it, the more it gets home. Because uh, for some migrants in diaspora, there's a communication gap on what is happening here and what's happening at home. So we will emphasize some of the points already made this morning. First, successful presidential election, civilian to civilian, very first time. Uh, continued focus on improving government accountability and transparency, combined with reducing corruption. Zero tolerance for corruption. Oh, most of you are aware of the EFCC and the, the fight uh, they are carrying on. Uh, they are not perfect yet, but they are leading the way and they are showing that uh, if we have the will, we will have the way. They are doing a marvelous job and uh, people are sitting up. It's no longer business as usual. One other important point that goes to the credit of Nigeria is the delisting by the Financial Action Tax Force uh, in June of 2006, thereby uh, you know, removing us from the money laundering zone. So Nigeria is no longer a money laundering area. <laughs> also, I need to emphasize the fact that the BB minus rating by Fitch and Standard & Poor's uh, is a, a milestone. It's not an investment grade yet, you know, but it's a step in the right direction. It, it puts us at par with countries like Brazil, Turkey, and what have you in terms of uh, uh, economic development. That will show you the milestone. And what is important about rating, once you're rated, you would like to come down. Because every year you're being watched. So there, there's no going back on this rating. The sky is the limit for the country. <laughs> Coupled with the economic reforms, the regulation in the energy and telecom sector Privatization of state concerns, just like my colleague in UBA did mention to you. Uh, government support for economic diversification, added credit guarantees. Uh, more importantly, we are not owing anybody. That's not something to me. <laughs> but you need to you need to owe somebody because if, if nobody is owing anybody, I won't be in business as a bank. <laughs> Well, uh, creating favorable environment, uh, my colleague from UBA did mention to you the tremendous, I'll show you a slide that will make this point clearer. You know, the GDP, uh, the GDP growth of 5.6% uh, uh, in 2006, and we're targeting 13% for 2011. You know, there are other great indicators, the, the uh, FDI is coming in, 5.4 billion by the UNTAC, and uh, etc. Then approximately three billion dollar raise in equity capital transaction year to date June 2007. It has never happened in anywhere in the country, including South Africa. Raising this quantum of amount in one year, it shows that the international community are beginning to believe in Nigeria. The 43 billion uh, foreign currency reserve and the 30.8 billion trade balances. More importantly, inflation has come down. We are now in the single digit era. Remember, there was a time we were at 23%, now we are about 7%. I think it deserves some round of applause. <laughs> this is a slide I wanted to show you. See what is happening between the Eurozone, which Germany belongs to, the USA, South Africa. See the growth. Yes, you might tell me that uh, Eurozone and USA are mature markets and therefore you don't expect them to grow uh, as fast as Nigeria. But it makes the point, 1.6% in 2005 to 28 that's what how Eurozone grew. In USA, they were almost flat, 32 to 3.3%. South Africa, 5.1% to 5%. Nigeria, 6.2% to 5.6%. The important thing is 5.6% is a major leap in one year. Please put your hands together. <laughs> yes, uh, why Nigeria for most people? Even our population alone shows you that there are potentials. The people in the uh, telecom 
area, particularly the guys from South Africa, saw it early and uh, dived into Nigeria. And we're encouraging you guys to please come on board because this is the time to invest. All the things that used to militate against uh, effective investment in Nigeria are being removed. Like the uh, Honorable uh, His Excellency mentioned to you, this current administration is real bent on growth for the country. Zero tolerance for corruption, uh, you know, privatization of all things so that government can face what they are good at, which is governing. The business people can do what? Face what they are good at, which is doing business. I've talked about the effective control, we have about inflation. Other things that interest the foreign investor is the stable currency that we have had uh, for over four years now. Before now, we used to worry about uh, oscillation in the currency rates and you wouldn't know how, by the time you're due to settle, uh, make some international payments, you wouldn't know whether it would be high or low. But Nigeria has been stable, I'll show you. You can see the graph. From 2000 and, uh, January 2004 to date, you will see clearly the stability that has come. And it came from the reforms from the great guys earlier mentioned, uh, you know, that came on the stable in the last administration and uh, prior to that. More importantly, the 2007 budget is built on assumption of 10% nominal GDP growth. 10% from 6, from 5.7 now. 10% this budget and 9% inflation rate and stable currency at 126 Naira per dollar. I keep leaving it at Naira because of the Nigerians in diaspora so that they still can figure it exactly. I can convert it to dollar, but I prefer to leave it in Naira so that uh, they will get the feel. Opportunities and economic transformation. The deregulation by the federal government, you know, remove control from certain sectors in order to create a free and efficient uh, marketplace in creating the opportunities for private sector enterprise. The favorable FDI's policies, creating multinational partnering opportunities, particularly in South Africa and European businesses. Outsourcing, that wasn't uh, uh, the trend at the point. Export businesses, you know, shift in government spending. Government are looking into things like health, uh, healthcare, education, infrastructure. More money are being invested in these areas. That's an area uh, of uh, interest uh, for the German companies because they are very good at uh, uh, the health sector and uh, the equipment that go with that sector. Well, I, I won't bother you. I, I will give you. Uh, uh, 